because what an entrance. I love it. Bing. Bless you. Oh my God, we lost our phone out. <laughs> this is such a shittily made cappuccino. I am so mad. I think this video angle is gonna change a few times. I'm sorry about that. I'm already losing my shit. Hello everyone. Welcome to my kitchen. Well, it's not my kitchen, but it's the kitchen that I live in. So how's your day going? Good. I have an apple. Great! We are going to be doing the booktube newbie tag. We're gonna both answer the questions because this yeah. channel belongs to the both of us. Yeah, so we'll just have lunch, answer the thing, do the thing. Oh, I forgot about lunch. But I'd have to go to Tim Hortons and get some food. Let's get on with the tag! Where are you joining us from? We are Canadian. We live on the east coast of Canada. We're not in Ooh. Toronto. Well, I mean, like, I'm 50% American. So Very like... true. I forgot about that. Yeah! <laughs> I don't know why. Um, Whenever you see me, I'm, I'm either gonna be here in Canada or like in the south being like I'm mistaking no. tobacco for beef jerky. That was one time! <laughs> How old are you? I'm 19. And I'm four days older. <laughs> so I'm also 19. <laughs> Why did you join booktube? Well, I started a bookstagram first and I was like this is so much fun. I want to do booktube and I'm gonna bring Abby into it. <laughs> I've been watching booktube since 2014. My first booktuber was Christine, and then it was Kat, and then I think it was Jesse, like the trifecta of booktube. <laughs> when she started the bookstagram page, I was like, you know what, let's go all out, let's just start a booktube. I've been wanting to do this for so long, let's do it. What is the meaning behind your channel name? Our name is Lots of Lit. Well, you know how the kids these days are like, oh, it's lit. <laughs> And I'm like, literature? And it's lit? And we've got lots of it? And also like, the other names were all taken? <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> yeah, <that's laughs> the next question is, what kind of books do you read and what do you want to talk about like with books on this channel? Uh, I mostly read like sci-fi fantasy books are kind of the main books that I end up reading. I want to talk about kind of like the descriptions that the author used, character development. I want to unboxings. I already do a ton of them. The books that I really like to read are mostly YA, I'm gonna say, pretty much any genre. I don't read a lot of romance. There has to be something else with like a little bit of romance. If it's just romance, I will not read it. I can't. Some of the books that I like to read on YA um, are LGBTQIA books, anything with mental health, and anything to do with activism as well. I will also definitely read anything that is Star Wars. This is what we Canadians do to get food. We go to Tim Hortons whenever we're in need. Pretty much. Who are some of your favorite authors? Yeah, Angie no. Thomas, mm. uh, Rainbow Rowell, mm. uh, anyone who writes Star Wars? Brandon Sanderson, Tolkien, Tywin Ock Grayson, uh, R.H. Sin? Yes! All right, so I ran out of memory halfway through the road trip, but uh, we've got Timmy's now. Hey! J.K. Rowling, I love J.K. Rowling. Uh, Ruth Sapitas. <gasps> Ruta Sapitas! Oh, I love Ruta her. Sapitas. So good. John Green's really John Green. Good. Side note, John Green. Just side rant. Mm. So, while he may not be like the best author and like he's hyped up a lot, I absolutely adore John Green as a person mm. and I like his work. He's such a good influence on kids adults. Mm -hmm. Like, I do really enjoy his books. I've already pre-ordered his new book. Same. And, like, I just ordered mine the other day. I love him more as a human than I do as an author. Exactly. Well, but of course I still like him as a author. Yeah. What is the last book you read? The last book that I finished reading was Perks of Being a Wallflower. All right. Uh, for me, the last book I read was The Last Name Sarah, a YA fantasy, and it has dragons. And I've missed reading about dragons for so long. <laughs> Uh, it's coming out in October. The next question is, show us your current TBR pile. <laughs> and, um, hold on, I can do that for you. This is what I'm currently reading. I have some coconut oil, some ready-made Chinese dish, and I have Milo hot chocolate powder from Australia. I'm in my kitchen. I can't go upstairs and get my TBR pile, but we can walk you through our TBR pile, mm -hmm. maybe. So the first three books on my TBR are the ones I got from NetGalley that I've now been sent to kind of read and review. So you can expect reviews coming up from this. She Be Damned by MJ Tejia. This book is actually from Australia, which is really, really quite cool. The Belinda Triangle is by Dick Hoffman. It takes place in 2031. Uh, the main character and his wife are like forced out of their jobs to like work on this ship, but like things are gonna 
go to shit as they do. Also, a gentleman's guide to buy some virtue, which I got in my owl crate, which was fantastic. All right, so on my TBR, I have to finish Inferno Squad. I'm gonna try to finish it this week coming. After that, I think I'm gonna need Codename Verity. Um, which is a book that I borrowed from Anna, I think a month ago and I haven't read it yet, so oh, it's my bad. bad. Which do you prefer, hardcovers or paperback? Um, ebooks or physical books? Owning or borrowing books? Hardcover, definitely. I don't care. Physical books? I don't care. And I like to own it. I do like owning books a little bit more than borrowing, I'm gonna admit. Yeah. Wait, wait, I'm gonna add a question. Do you like to annotate your books? Yes and no. Like, I like annotating books if I feel like I have some kind of reason to annotate it. I won't up in myself just up and annotate a book for no reason. I am very pro annotating books. I really like making a book that I really love my own. What book or book series got you into reading? The Chronicles of Narnia. <laughs> really? Yeah, when I was really, really little, while well, all of everyone like our age was being read, you know, Harry Potter and things like that, I was read The Chronicles of Narnia. And I also grew up on Kate Dole Mako's books. So Tale of Despero, The Miraculous Journey of Edward Tulane, because of when Dixie. What really, really, really made me into the reader that I am today is probably the Warrior series by Aaron Hunter. But I still, I remember I started with Blue Star's Prophecy, which is technically the very first in the entire timeline. So I mean, what luck did I have there? How did you discover BookTube? Um, essentially what happened was I was just browsing around YouTube, doing my thing, da 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 da, and I saw all these like different subscription boxes, and I was like, oh, what are what are these? What are those? And how long ago was this? This was like less than a year ago. <laughs> For me, it was, again, I think I mentioned this earlier in this video, back in 2014. I think I was trying to look up a certain review of some book, and then I stumbled on Christine, uh, and then I was hooked. <laughs> what challenges do you think you'll face with your own channel? Actually getting videos up once we both start university again? Yeah. We're not going to be able to do a ton of videos together. It's going to be like I do video and Abby does video, and then we edit it in together and also like that being like who edits what video. Where else can we find you? You can find me on my Instagram at During Book Dragon. That is the bookstagram that I keep talking about literally throughout this entire video. You could definitely find me on Instagram at ASAPAbby with two Y's. And I also have a Twitter, which is also ASAPAbby, but with one Y. I also have a Goodreads that I can link down in the description. Ooh, I'll link mine down there as well. <laughs> and that is it for the booktube newbie tag, which is kind of created by between chapters, but also not exactly. I was trying to read the description, but I got kind of confused. So we did not make this tag. And that is it for the tag. Woo! So see you soon.